In this video, we are going to look at how to project an object to a section view, actually section views, uh, using a new method. We are doing this in the normal way by projecting object on the section view, so profile grade lines. But today what I am going to do is uh, projecting objects to section views, not by those two methods, but by marked point on a assembly so let us say i have my section view like this let us say we want to have a guardrail at this edge as a projecting object so let us say we need to have guardrail at every station at from this uh, shoulder edge so currently this is only a block you can see this mark point is this actually this in this block you can see this base point is at the uh, corner of the shoulder here actually this is not the shoulder this is the verge so at the verge at the corner of the verge we have the base point of the block and this is the guardrail block so if you go to properties you can see the block name is guardrail left so now i am going to create a mark point on my assembly to project this guardrail onto my section views i am only going to do this at my left side but you can also do it on your right side as well but in that case you have to create another block for this because this is uh, moving to this side so when you are go when you are going to add the block to the right side this face should be should be shown on the other side so it should be the mirror of a mirror version of this block so i am going to my assembly here so this is the place where we go, want to have our marked point so i am going to tool palette then i am going to generic tab then i have mark point here so i will use this place as my mark point so I use this place as my mark point. I click here. So it will automatically mark a point for me. So I press escape and I close this tool palette. Then I select this mark point and go to subassembly properties. And my mark point is card rail left. Then I go to parameters tab. My point name is let us say same as the subassembly name card rail left. And for the point code, I will type gr underscore left l for card rail left gr underscore l. So then I go to codes tab. Uh, I'm not going to codes tab, I'm just clicking OK. Uh, then I go to assembly properties then i go to code tab, and this is my codes test code set style which i am working now i go to here and go to edit current selection so i have marked a point so my mark point detail should be under point option you can see now this grl option cannot be seen here the guardrail option grl because that is the point code name i have given to that so it is not currently viewable here then i go to import codes here then i select my assembly here so it will add all the codes to the assembly from the from the assembly to the code set style i select the assembly then i right click then if you go down you will find it has been imported now then i go to styles tab then i go click here then i create a new style copy current selection i create a new style by copying the current selection then i change the name as guard rail left then i go to marker tab then I move on to use AutoCAD block symbol for marker. Then I move to the right side. Then 
I'll find the guardrail left block and I will use the scale as fix scale 111 and click OK. Now this style is set to this code. Now guardrail left is uh, assigned to GRL point code. So I click OK and click OK again. So it will give you our, my corridor is out of date. So I close this one here. Now you can see my guardrail is appearing here. So now I go to corridors and right click and rebuild my corridor. And I forgot one thing because I have uh, cut and fill both options. So I have to copy this assembly to this point also. Uh, so I click this one, copy, and I'll select this point also. So I get that to the top one also, cut and fill both options. Then I right click and go to rebuild corridor. So you can do the same thing to the right side by adding a new guardrail right option. So in that case, this guardrail should be, should have the mirrored version of this for the right side. So you can see now in our section views, in all section view, this is the first section view, you can see you have two options, the corridor option and the block option. So if you remove the block here, you already have the guardrail here. And you can see at every station you have the guardrail. So this is a good way to project object into section views using marked point assemblies. So you can use these things in other places as well when you have to uh, project a block or some item into uh, section views. So you can do it through your corridor instead of uh, projecting blocks onto your uh, section views.